Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools. During the annual Salute to Success Student Recognition Banquet, Taunty Brownlee was honored as the Wayne D. Lett Scholar for 2015. The $6,000 scholarship, named after former Newport News Public School Superintendent Dr. Wayne Lett, is awarded to a student who is committed to return to the school system after college and teach for three years. Taunty is a student in the International Baccalaureate program at Warwick High School. Her passion for education flourished after a one-week internship as a summer school counselor. She plans to attend George Mason University and focus on early childhood or elementary education. John McMillan, former school board chairman, presented the four-year scholarship on behalf of the Newport News Education Foundation. The foundation administers the scholarship as well as sponsors the annual Salute to Success Banquet. April is recognized as celebrating the month of the military child and many schools took the opportunity to hold special events to honor and recognize our military children, their families, and the heroes that make this country great. For the fourth year, the highly anticipated American Military Idol talent shows were as popular and entertainment-packed as ever. Organized by Military Support Counselor Alicia Lytell, Two talent shows were held this year, with one centering on Lytell's two elementary schools, Greenwood and Lee Hall, and the other one showcasing her two middle schools, Dozier and Passage. Each show featured 16 acts, with a combined total of 60 students performing at the two shows. The acts featured students from military families. However, any student could participate, as long as they were partnered with a military child. The acts were auditioned, to assure age-appropriate performances at the shows, and selections were notified at the beginning of March. This allowed almost two months to rehearse during lunchtime and recess. As in previous years, the military idol shows were part of required activities that Mrs. Lytell had to conduct under the Department of Defense Education Activity Military Grant. The grant focuses on the social and emotional aspects of military-connected students as well as an emphasis on reading achievement for military-connected students with disabilities. The Military Idol talent shows were a great way to meet these requirements while celebrating military students as they showcased their talents. A main focus for a typical high school student is getting a driver's license and the opportunity to drive. Newport News Public Schools make sure that students are prepared for this important responsibility by providing excellent classroom and behind-the-wheel training. During the summer, students have the opportunity to get practical experience through instruction on the school system's driving range, as well as out on the road. Students who have completed the classroom portion of driver education and have their learner's permit should contact their high school guidance counselor to sign up by this Thursday, June 4th. After June 4th, call 591-4601 to schedule your summer dates. Now, let's see what it takes to get our students on the road as safe, responsible drivers. Learning from your mistakes is an important part of the educational process in the classroom and in life. But when the classroom takes the form of a driving course for teenagers who want their driving permit, you'd rather see mistakes made here instead of out on the open road. The Newport News Public Schools Driver Education Program challenges its students like no other program in the state. This well-oiled machine even grabs the attention of other driving program instructors from other parts of Virginia, just like it grabs the attention of each student driver out on the course. The program starts with nine weeks of classroom instruction as part of school curriculum. Ten important modules are presented that range in topics like entering the roadway, alcohol-related crashes, and extreme weather conditions, all with the single purpose of giving each young driver as much safety instruction as possible in a classroom setting. But out on the course is where the rubber meets the road. The students get to safely experience a variety of situations that might be waiting for them on the highways. 
Each day begins with the students thoroughly checking the cars over. The instructors demonstrate techniques that help avoid auto accidents and show the best ways to handle and recover from unavoidable situations. Then it's time for the students to take the wheel. Where else can a student driver experience a spin out on a wet road, forcing them to think fast and make the right choices? The skid pad on this course is the only one of its kind in Virginia. Instead of a rainy day being the first encounter on wet roads, this skid pad safely brings confidence to the reaction process. Crash avoidance is the name of the game for all stages of the course. During an evasive drill, students put the pedal to the metal. Instructors give last minute left or right commands as students accelerate towards a maze of cones to develop attention and reflexes. The situations presented are so thorough that even stopping with ABS brakes and non-ABS brakes is part of the training, which is not found in most other programs. Also not found in most other programs, especially in private companies, is the pledge to repeat the training to any student until they successfully complete the course with no additional payments or fees. So it's plain to see how Newport News Public Schools is proud of its driver education program and its commitment to increasing the safety of everyone on Virginia's roadways. A few months ago, we highlighted the efforts of a brand new club at Newsom Park Elementary School, the Duct Tape Club, organized by math interventionist Jackie Barber, designs, creates, and sells a multitude of school supplies reinforced and decorated with a variety of colorful duct tape. Through this club, students are essentially working in a small business atmosphere while reinforcing their math skills by counting money, keeping track of inventory, fulfilling custom orders, and working directly with customers. And as this young club continues to grow and impact their school community in countless ways, it's time for a review. The Duct Tape Club has been around for less than six months, but the impact this intrepid club has already had on Newsom Park is invaluable. Since December, the club has earned over $1,300 through the hard work of students and staff. But instead of keeping all the money for themselves, the goal of the Duct Tape Club is to give back to Newsom Park in a variety of ways. Recently, the club enlisted the help of Mary Keeling, Supervisor of Library Media Services to select the best books possible to donate to Newsom Park's library. When the 30 brand new books arrived, the students were excited to add their own personal touch, so future readers would be reminded of the great contribution this club made to support reading at Newsom Park. Besides donating books, the Duct Tape Club also made donations to Jump Rope for Heart, paid for the rental of a dunk tank and inflatable slide at the school's field day, and participated in the One City Nautical Mile to promote physical fitness. And when club members aren't focused on their philanthropic efforts, the young entrepreneurs are more than busy with their day job. Membership in the club has expanded to include fourth and fifth graders, and the club has increased their customer service by using a flipbook system to make ordering custom designs more accessible. Back in the shop, Students are enjoying the increased demand for their creative projects, even fulfilling orders placed from other elementary schools in Newport News through their Facebook page. And their innovation is evident as new supplies are constantly becoming available. Students are also enjoying success in the classroom, as many club members are exceeding their math goals. Overall, the club's primary focus of creating a fun educational experience and giving back to their school community is the winning formula that this duct tape club is sticking to. High school graduations are coming up. Here are some dates you might want to note. An Achievable Dream High School is holding its graduation on Thursday, June 4th at CNU's Ferguson Center for the Arts at 6 p.m. The other five high schools will hold graduations at the Hampton Coliseum. Minchville, Warwick, and Woodside graduations will be on Saturday, June 6th with Minchville starting at 10 a.m., followed by Warwick at 2 p.m., and Woodside at 6.30 p.m. 
Denby and Heritage will hold their graduations the following day on Sunday, June 7th, beginning with Denby at 2 p.m. and then Heritage at 6 p.m. You can order a DVD of any of the graduations by going to the Forms and Requests page of our website at nnpstv.com and selecting the link for the graduation video request form. During the last three days of school from June 11th through June 15th, early childhood centers, as well as elementary and middle schools, will dismiss early, and high schools will be on a half-day schedule. The last day of school is on Monday, June 15th, and the last day for teachers is on Tuesday, June 16th. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.